Hey Media Nerds, we're making a montage. So a montage is simply an edited sequence that shows the passing of time. I've always done an exercise called Day in 60 Seconds with my Year 10 students, which gets them to condense an average day into a one minute montage. We're going to do exactly the same thing, except condensing weeks of isolation into a 60 second montage with some music. What equipment do I need, I hear you ask? You can shoot this on your smartphone, an iPad, a DSLR, a video camera, a GoPro, or literally any other equipment that you have access to. Likewise, when it comes to editing software, you don't need anything particularly fancy. You could use iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, Adobe Premiere Pro. What I do want you to think about are the camera and editing techniques you're going to use to make this montage. I want you to use at least four of the following techniques in your ISO montage. Jump cuts, slow motion, time lapse, smash cuts, split screen, whip pans, or wipe by cuts. A jump cut occurs when two visually similar shots are edited together, creating a jarring jump from one shot to the next. Although jump cuts are usually considered to be a mistake, they can be used to show the progression of time by filming a sequence and cutting huge chunks out of it. Slow motion. What better way to express boredom? Not only that, but today's smartphones are capable of shooting incredible slow motion. Some of them achieve uh, frame rates of up to about 240 frames per second, which looks absolutely amazing. Time lapse is a technique where your camera captures one image every few seconds. When that's played back at a normal frame rate, it appears much faster than it actually is. For example, if you take one image every second and play it back at 25 frames per second, it's going to play back 25 times faster. Now, many modern smartphones have time lapse features, and you can download apps that do the same thing. The secret is to position your camera in a stable place and start recording. I'm imagining that people could capture amazing footage of light and shadows passing across rooms, or maybe you could capture a frame every minute and film yourself working for an entire morning. Time lapse is totally cool, and you should do it. A smash cut is a sudden transition to another shot before it would normally end. Now, Edgar Wright is the master of the stylized smash cut, and you'll see a lot of these in films like Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Dividing the frame into different parts is a great way to show things happening simultaneously. You can do this easy in Adobe Premiere by dropping the crop effect onto a clip and manipulating its scale. If you're getting adventurous and you'd like to try a whip pan, you can whip out of one shot and into another. As long as your camera is moving in the same direction, you'll be able to put a cross dissolve between those two shots and it's going to appear like a continuous camera movement. Now, a wipe by cut is when someone passes in front of the camera and then you cut to a different shot as someone finishes passing in front of the camera. Putting a slight cross dissolve between these two shots means that the transition is almost imperceptible. When it comes to shooting this sequence, you may need to enlist the help of other people. If you don't have some kind of stabilization device like a tripod or a gimbal, remember to hold your phone in both hands and keep your elbows close to your body to achieve a steady shot. And for the love of all that's good and merciful, do not shoot in portrait mode. Just don't. The purpose of this task is to get you away from your computer during remote learning. If all else fails, take some photographs and edit them together with some music. We understand that everyone has access to different equipment, and the most important thing is to have fun and to be creative.